Hello and welcome back. This is Davida with Medium of the Light Tarot. All right, Scorpios, we are going to do another love reading for you. This is the Mermaid deck on the collective energies of the Scorpios wanted this deck. So now welcome back if you've been here before and welcome if you are new here. I do love readings as well as true crime and energy updates, predictions for the signs. All right, so this is you, this is them, and this is the storyline. So the overall card here is the Four of Pentacles. Trying to hold on to what one has is the general description of this card. However, the energy of this is sitting and waiting comfortably, contemplating what you are holding on to or what you want to build for the future. You know, that's why I love so many different decks. They bring so much different kinds of energy here. So, I can't remember if I said it. This is you, this is them, this is the storyline. Flip these two as it resonates with you. So for you, you have the Strength card, the Moon card, and the Six of Cups. So you're definitely waiting for something, I feel. And then here with... Um, I always go with what's happening in the environment... So you're waiting, but you're also trying to protect with the alarm that's going off here, the car horn. So with the strength card, you're trying to move things forward, but you're trying to be... Here, hold on. Sorry about that. The, the horn keeps going off. So guys, tell me more about that, because usually, they, you know, they go on, they go on and they go off. There's something that's, and it just stopped. So there's something that is disturbing you to a certain degree, but you are, it's, I think it's more like mental thoughts or constructs of what you think is going on. Because you're trying to have the strength here and you you want to move things forward, but I feel like there's, there's hesitancy, even though, this is interesting. I kind of feel like you're having... almost like a fight with yourself internally where you're like, I want this love. Here's the six of cups. There's playful energy. It's moving, you know, returning to someone. So maybe that's what you're, you're confused about and kind of, you know, waiting to see while you're holding on to what you have. Maybe this person has come back because this is showing someone has come back from the past or a past life. And I feel like you've been, what I'm hearing is that you've been bit pretty good by this. And you're like, ugh, I don't really want to. But then you can't help but want to see what happens with this person again. So with this moon card here, you're trying to really go deeper within yourself and say, okay, what am I hiding? What's going on? And kind of like figuring out what your truth is. Because I think, honestly, you didn't think this person was going to come back. And, you know, on top of the moon is the Empress card. You're kind of feeling like, do I want to go back? You know, the Empress is, you know, this abundant, you know, lovely person who everyone wants to be around, especially your person. And that's why they are back. For a small portion of you, there might have been something to do with a pregnancy. But you're kind of feeling like, I'm doing good without them. But you still want to entertain it because you feel that connection with them. Yeah, I mean, to a certain degree, it's kind of like you want to celebrate their return. And it's interesting because here's, you know, three mermaids, you know, toasting to something. And I feel like 
Because what I just heard in a snap was one of your friends is either psychic or has psychic abilities or, you know, something like that, where she's like, I told you. And it's like, you guys are talking about it. And then with the six of cups is, you know, having fun with it. Like you had a lot of fun with this person, a person that is wanting to return, but you know, you're still trying to be very, very careful and cautious. Your person here, they want to manifest it. Now with the six of wands here, it's almost like they're willing to make a public spectacle here. Because remember, when I do these readings, I choose the deck that is the collective energy of the Scorpios that, you know, are going to resonate with this. So the pictures that are here are very significant. So it's like they're willing to make a public statement here that, yes, they are in love with you. A public spectacle is what I heard first. So with this magician card here comes the Hierophant. They might even be coming in wanting to offer a commitment with this Hierophant here. But they're definitely like doing their homework. They're trying to make sure that um, you are available. Um, so what I'm seeing here too is this person didn't come in all willy-nilly and go, oh, I just had the urge to reach out to you now. They've been thinking about this. They've been plotting it. They've been preparing themselves. Like they've really been doing their homework. You know, and they are concerned that they might get rejected too. Because whatever happened, they know with this public spectacle here of announcing their love, <clears throat> excuse me, that other people are involved and they're like, how is other people going to react? Could be your family, your friends. Okay, so there's the eight of pentacles that wanted to come out with the seven of wands here and the fool. Yeah, it's like they've been working hard. They... They're, this person is, if they weren't ready for a commitment in the past, they're ready for one now. It's like they're ready to go on the chopping block. And what I heard was very crude because I'm a very crude person. But it was more like they're putting everything out there for people to see. And it's, I'm not going to tell you <laughs> what it was. But um, yeah, they're definitely going to be putting themselves out there. So with this Four of Swords here, okay, this is the storyline here. It's interesting. I'm, almost, I'm also, it's interesting because I feel like this is kind of telling about the past is what I'm getting. Like this is all past stuff. So with this then, give me some clarification. So with this Four of Swords, it was about resting after a devastating situation. Yeah, because there was the Ten of Cups here. And I, what I had also asked them to do, the guides, when, they're, when I'm pulling these out, is showing me past and then future opportunities. And here comes the Ten of Cups. Full love, you know, abundance, love, happiness, the whole shebang. Because remember, it seems like this person's going to be coming forth with some sort of an offer. With the Death card from the past... Now it's the Eight of Swords. It was like there was a death. There was, um, you know, with death, there's a new beginning. And obviously there's a new beginning here. Now, if this is resonating with you, please make sure to give this a thumbs up so it gets spread around to others that need to hear this healing message. Now with the death card from the past, here comes the Eight of Swords. This is kind of like self-purgatory, self-fears, you know, trying to figure out what's really going on. Can I really trust this? Is this going to end up to be what it was in the past? So with this three of pentacles here from the past, it was building a solid foundation. And I feel like it's, you know, the opportunity has come back around again. But there is a lot of fear here. You know, and fear on both sides. It's not just you and it's not just them. You know, because they realize that, you know, both of you went through a lot. 
And this is, you know, a mermaid in a cage, but the lock is undone. So there's going to be a need for changing perspective. Um, here, I'm going to, you know, there's going to be a choice that needs to be made here. Your person's made your choice to come back and really offer something grounded. You're going to have to really figure out if you want to hold on to what you already have or take a chance and, you know, go with them on a fool's journey. And a fool's journey is just a new beginning. So, guys, give me more information here. Okay, this is probably what you needed to hear. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. And I know that's hard when you've been hurt and, you know, you went through so much and now the situation has done a turnaround and you're like, okay, because you know there's attraction here. There's absolutely no doubt that you, you know that there's still, you know, just on your end that there's attraction towards this person. And it says, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. Sorry. So if you were kind of wondering if this person is real, you know, this is a public reading, so take it as it resonates. If you're wanting to know for sure, um, I am doing personal readings, so check out the link below and we can know specifically for you. But this is looking good. Like this person means it, you know, cause, um, cause what I'm hearing here is for those of you who the person has already shown up and you're trying to make that decision, this person's legit. And then with, okay, so, so what I'm hearing is some of you are going to be, you know, listening to this and the person then is going to come. So there, you know, there's not two storylines per se, but there's ones who were listening to this before it's happened and then the other ones who it's already happened and you're trying to figure out if it's real. So, you know, if this isn't your storyline yet and it's very similar, then, you know, this person, especially since we're in Scorpio season, expect the unexpected. All right, so the wedding has come up. The situation involves marriage. You guys might have even called off a wedding or there's going to be a wedding. Because remember, this is the second reference here from the Hierophant to the wedding card of a commitment. So this is, you know, if this is something that you really want, this is freaking fabulous. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So, I mean, don't put a lot of pressure on yourself about this. Like you waited for this, you were hoping for this, you know, because there's so much passion. You know, this is this was worth waiting for and now is kind of the moment. And there's even engagement. You know, this love is is, you know, going to a higher level here. So try to keep your mind open. You know, and of course, you're going to be the ultimate discerner here, right? You're going to know your situation inside and out. But you need to make sure that you're not going to cut yourself from any opportunities here. Because if you waited for a long time or it was painful ending, whatever happened, this person is back and they mean it. They've done their research. They've figured out how they were going to approach you. They're going to, it seems to be some sort of public, um, announcement of, of their love for you and they've been manifesting this they are scared they definitely are scared but they do want this okay they do want this with you now what is it no they don't want to use that one is there anything else that the watcher needs to know about this situation the emperor yeah, your person is coming through as the divine counterpart that you've been waiting for, okay? And they're also saying, like, try not to judge too much. Um, not only them, but you, because there's going to be a lot of healing work that needs to happen here to be able to move this forward. 
but your person wants this. And they're willing to give you the time that you need to kind of screw your head back on. Because there's nothing that needs to be rushed in. Because this is what you're, this is the fear that you have. And their fear. That there's something hidden that someone's going to try to get away with something and then run away in the night. So this is going to be about trust building for the two of you. Take your time. There is no rush. The, the overall vibe that I get from this is really good. So I think that you should be, quite frankly, very excited. I think that you should, and this is just my opinion. I'm not, right now I'm not talking spirit. Spirit's not talking through me. Just personally, the vibe I'm feeling, I think you should go for it. You know, hold on to what you have, make choices in the moment, feel your feelings, talk to them about what happened in the past, you know, get into deep conversations about it because you guys are going to have to, you know, seek truth telling and trust building. All right. Please give this a thumbs up if it was helpful and don't forget to subscribe. And my friends, I wish you the best on this journey and, um, you know, try to remember to have fun about it. Try not to get too like, because then that'll just like, you know, fuck you up, but don't do it. I know it's easier for me to say, but just try to have some fun with it. Try Don't remember. Don't forget to laugh. Don't forget to have fun. All right. You guys, thank you so much. I will see you next time on Meeting by the Light Tarot. Bye-bye for now.